Hey guys, for production here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to download and use FrostWire. Uh, FrostWire is similar to LimeWire, but works better with uh, Macs. Uh, so here we go. First, you're gonna go to Google.com, and you're just gonna search for Frost wire uh, it should come up with this the official website and if it's not that then don't click on it because uh, the official website is very reliable and other websites that may have it might not be as reliable as uh, this so anyways once you get there you're gonna click download now frostwire version 4.18.1 and since I already have it, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how it works. So, let's open that. So, here it is. Uh, Frostwire. I'm not sure why it says Frost Click, But, uh, anyways, you can search for any type of file. All types, images, documents, audio, video, or programs. Usually, you, when using FrostWire, I search for audio files because I find that LimeWire is much better for downloading video files. Uh, but you can make that decision when you download it. Uh, there's a bunch of different settings up here and uh, tabs. Uh, there's monitor that uh, it shows you all your searches and uploads. Um, and there's connections and that shows you uh, w uh, your connection status and all that all the technical stuff and then there's library uh, I haven't downloaded anything from this Frostwire um, yet because I have it on my desktop my main computer and that is where I usually use it I usually use LimeWire on this my laptop which is what I'm using right now but um, there's that and you can search through your library to find a certain song uh, and there's community chat which I don't use because I don't have a an account for any of these music uh, free music downloading programs um, so when you search a, v a, a file uh, in this case an audio file it will come up with a bunch of different um, uh, different uh, different selections that you can pick from uh, so let's do sweetest girl Wyclef John and what you're just gonna press enter and you're gonna give it a few seconds and you can also um, filter your results uh, by genre, artist, or album. Um, you can stop your search, so it leaves it at that, and it cuts off the uh, connection, basically, so you don't get any more results. And then what you're going to do is just click on the one you want and hit download. And what it should do is uh, tell you how uh, what speed you're downloading it from and um, that you have a turbocharged connection and right here it says the name of the uh, file that you're downloading the size of it the status of the download uh, how many uh, P2P users you're downloading from or if you need more sources uh, the progress of download how long it's going to take uh, the, how fast it's going and how long it's going to take. Uh, I'm going to cancel this because I already have the song and it wouldn't work anyways because I needed more uh, sources. So, also, once you download a song from Frostwire, it will automatically go to your iTunes library. So you don't have to uh, do anything. You just have to download it from Frostwire, go back to your iTunes library, and it'll be there. Um, Frostwire is definitely better in uh, downloading audio files, like I said. Um, and it's better. Uh, it's more compatible with the Mac. 
and I personally like it more because I listen to more music than I watch uh, movies, so I use it a lot more, but um, you can also make that choice for yourself. So, anyways, this has been Super Apple Production showing you a demo on Frostwire 4.18.1, and um, I hope you like it. I'll get back to you with a new video as soon as I can, and I hope you please uh, uh, just um, subscribe, rate, comment, add me as a friend. I'll respond to any comments as soon as I get them, and I will try to get back to you with a new video as soon as I can. Thanks.